right now, the Democratic Party has an option for everyone. There's moderates, there's progressives, there's X-Men, and <laughs> there's even a guy who's worth $1.6 billion. But what if $1.6 billion just isn't rich enough for some voters? Well, then those people might be in luck. The Democratic race for president appears to be heating up this morning. Former New York City mayor and billionaire businessman Michael Bloomberg filing paperwork on Friday to get on the ballot for the Alabama primary. While he's not officially in the race yet, Bloomberg wants to keep his options open. And now he wants to ensure President Trump is defeated in 2020. His spokesman telling NBC News, Mike is increasingly concerned the current field of candidates is not well positioned to do that. I have my reservations about it the people running and the way they're campaigning and the, the promises they're making that they can't fulfill and their unwillingness to really uh, admit what, they, what is possible and what isn't. Yes, Michael Bloomberg, former New York City mayor and world's richest house elf, is on the verge <laughs> of jumping into the Democratic primary because he doesn't think any of the current candidates can beat Trump. And you have to admit, that's such a billionaire thing to do, right? <laughs> No, because if a normal person is worried about someone's incompetence, like, what do we do? We just hope for the best, right? We just be like, I don't think this pilot can land the plane. Oh, I'm gonna pray and text my family. I hope they get the text before Valentine's Day. Oh my God, I hope they get it before Valentine's Day. We just have to hope. Meanwhile, a billionaire is like, I just bought the plane and fired the pilot. Now I'll land it myself. It's like, do you know how to fly a plane? I can figure it out. I'm very rich. <laughs> like, why do billionaires always do this? You know, it's not just him. Like, look at Bruce Wayne. Gotham's crime was out of control. Instead of complaining about the cops, he was like, Alfred, build me a car that shoots grenades. I'll do this myself. I'll just do it myself. <laughs> so, billionaire Michael Bloomberg may be making a fashionably late entrance into the presidential race. And his fellow Democrats aren't exactly giving him a warm welcome. I think that Mike is expressing concern about this primary field, and he should not have concern. This is a stark difference from someone that can just come in and plop down checks and buy a bunch of ads. Um, I think people are going to see through it. I think that our elections should not be something that are bought by billionaires. So tonight, we say to Michael Bloomberg and other billionaires, sorry, you ain't going to buy this election. <laughs> I love Bernie Sanders. He does not mess around. <laughs> you see that? Like, he's shutting down Bloomberg the way Popeye's employees have been shutting down races. He's just like, sorry, you ain't gonna buy this spicy sandwich if you say the N-word. <laughs> and I see what Bernie and the other Democrats are saying. Right? The only reason it's even possible for Bloomberg to jump into the race so late isn't because he has, like, a groundswell of popular support behind him. It's that he has $53 billion to spend. Yeah, $53 billion. With that amount of money, Bloomberg could, like, keep cloning different versions of himself <laughs> until he finds the most electable one. He could be like, how about a tall Bloomberg? <laughs> or how about a buff Bloomberg? <laughs> what about a black Bloomberg? <laughs> oh, no, now I have to stop and frisk myself. <laughs> and while the Democrats are not thrilled that Bloomberg has thrown his jockey cap into the ring, there's a Republican billionaire who seems very happy about this. There is nobody I'd rather run against than little Michael. Little Michael will fail. He'll spend a lot of money. Uh, he's got some really big issues. He's got some personal problems, and he's got a lot of other problems. But I know Michael Bloomberg fairly well. Not too well, fairly well. Well enough. He will not do very well. I know him not too well. Fairly well, not too well. Well enough. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, it almost feels like Donald Trump tries to keep one foot out of the door on every friendship just in case that friend turns out to be a pedophile. That's what it feels like he's doing. I know him well, unless he's touching kids, and I've never met him, never met him. Now, some people may be wondering why Bloomberg is only joining the race now. I mean, he told us back in March that he definitely wasn't running. So what changed his mind? Well, maybe all he needed was a little push from another member of the point zero 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 one percent Michael Bloomberg, we know, taking steps to run for president. Another billionaire reportedly giving him a little push, a little support. Recode is reporting that Amazon's Jeff Bezos called Bloomberg to personally urge him to run. 
Wow. Jeff Bezos told Bloomberg to run? You know you're rich when the Amazon guy orders something from you. <laughs> That's money. <laughs> like... <laughs> whatever you think of Bloomberg, you have to admit it's not a great look for him and Jeff Bezos to be teaming up on this presidential run. I mean, can you even imagine what it sounds like when two guys with a combined net worth of $160 billion hatch a plan together? Can you just imagine what their phone call is like? Well, the good news is you don't have to imagine because we managed to hack that call. Michael, it's the Zos. I'm sick of Democrats thinking us billionaires have too much money. Uh, hold on for a second. Three million. Sorry, I'm buying another Picasso for my bathroom. It's so much softer than toilet paper. You're right, we are not piggy banks. Hold on, I have to switch from my daytime helicopter to my evening helicopter. That's why you should run for president. Americans are hungry for a billionaire's sensible leadership, like how my albino tiger is hungry for dodo meat. There you go, Wolfgang. Oof, this is a big decision. I'll let you know my answer at Illuminati bowling night. Okay, I gotta go schedule a funeral for a worker at my Amazon warehouse. Who died? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> 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 <laughs>